que digo buenas noches o buenos días. Hola. Es que puede salir en la tarde, en la mañana o en la noche. Podemos comenzar. ¿Ya? Hola, soy Debbie Berebiches y estamos aquí en México promoviendo un nuevo libro que se llama Un Universo Diferente escrito por el doctor Robert Laughlin, quien se ganó el Premio Nobel de Física en 1998 y quien fue mi asesor de tesis doctoral en la Universidad de Stanford en California. Llevamos cinco días en México y ha estado increíble la experiencia. Incluso fuimos la, la noche anterior a Garibaldi y la pasamos padrísimo. Gracias. Hi everybody, I'm Bob Laughlin. I'm here from Stanford. Mexico City for the first time, enjoying myself immensely. And can we start with what do you think about Mexican science? Sure. Do you, do you want to hold your microphone? Would you like her to ask me the question? No, no I'd rather do it. Okay, yeah. happy to do it. Um, yes, okay. I uh, have very high respect for Mexican scientists generally. Of course, every country has different amounts of money. And obviously Mexico is, is not as rich as Germany or Japan, but the people here, regardless of the amount of money, are truly excellent. And I'm in, uh, enjoying working with them and talking with them here. Can you explain that in a lot of money, the, the, the physics? Right, okay, ready? Different universe is about a conceptual change that's happening right now in physics between what we call reductionism and something we call emergentism. The basic idea is very simple. Nature is like a painting of money. Very often, when you get close to parts of nature, it's like walking up to an impressionist painting. You see less and less. All you see is little dots. In order to understand the meaning and importance and the law contained in physics, you must step back and back to see the whole and the perfection. The age of biology that we're entering, in my view, is actually the age of emergence. And can you explain a little more about the good guy of the mechanical view of the world? Oh, yes. <coughs> the title of this book I hate. It was forced on me by my editor in New York because if you don't put universe in the title, they put it in the wrong part of the bookstore. Now, in fact, this book is coming out in German just now, and they changed the title to Abschied von der Weltformel, which is much, much better. It means something like uh, goodbye to formulaic view of the world. And it's very much a title that you might find from Nietzsche. And that is really what I was shooting for, uh, because I would love to write as well as Nietzsche, but I don't, of course. And I was so pleased with the title. And I hope my New York people see what happens and do a better title when we, uh, when we do my next book. Just a little bit that Mexico could be like a point where a lot of Electronic and oh yeah, okay. Kind. Yeah. I have a theory that this country is about to become a lot more technical than it has been in the past. Now it's just a theory, and I don't know if it's true, but what I think is that we'll see a lot more high-end electronics and communications industry here, uh, IT and BT. Now the reason I think that is actually very simple. Uh, prices are going up in the Far East. Now Asian companies are looking for places to re-site their factories. For example, the Philippines or Vietnam or India or even Africa. And when you're doing that, Mexico has a tremendous advantage, which is NAFTA. We don't normally think of NAFTA as being an advantage, but my theory is that in this case it will be. And it will turn out that this country is a preferred place to put factories. So I think uh, it's, it's food for thought for people here to think about maybe 
possibility that there's a high-tech future for the country that, that people didn't think about before. How will we affect this to the people? You told me too about climate right. change. Uh, the improvements of life for ordinary people don't come through investments per se. It's, it's actually indirect. In my experience is there's no way up in the economy except to use your own abilities as best you can. Uh, so the high-tech future leading to better economy is a slow process where you get a little income, you learn more, you're not, you're not working in the fields, you, you have time to think, you have to th time to think about what people want to buy, what communications is all about, and so forth. And so it's the spin-off from the technical industry that's the important thing economically, not the technical industry itself. Uh, Mexico has a, I'd say, a very good potential combinations of, of things for the information age because it's such an artistic place. I've noticed something obvious when I'm visiting here this week that Mexico is the ultimate fusion culture. Everybody else in the world is trying to become a fusion culture, but Mexico is a fusion culture already. And so that, I think, is a tremendous advantage in this race for globalization. And then, how was Garibaldi yesterday? Say what? Garibaldi yesterday? Garibaldi. <laughs> Garibaldi was a very intense experience, and um, you have to understand, it was like the Battle of the Mariachis. Each one of these bands is excellent, okay? And they're all trying to be excellent at once and, you know, get, get your money, which is very cool. Um, uh, I very much like mariachi music, I always have, but I never I had, was so close to the real thing before. Uh, these, these, these people are very artistic and they're all great. Um, this was probably the, uh, the, I would say, the most powerful um, actual Mexico experience that I had while I was here. I much preferred it to fancy, uh, fancy restaurants and uh, clothing stores. And uh, yeah, I'll go back. I'll bring my sons next time. <laughs>